Hi, this is Laura Kane After Dark, and I'm uh, Laura Kane. Hello, oh, Laura Kane. Right out of the gate, right out of the gate. All right, so we're just gonna restart this. <laughs> no, I know <laughs> we can easily push restart. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Miss Lee. Oh, uh, hello, Laura Kane. You're here at the top of the show. What's uh, up? I wanted to say hello to you. I'd be ashamed of this little volume knob for Eric. Way, <laughs> I'm so way. glad don't you don't like Miss Lee. If you were encouraging him, he, she'd be on all to- I the time. I support all of Eric's antics except Miss Lee and Drake. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Oh, he hasn't even met half oh, of them. Oh, there's, right. there are more. I don't support Grandpa the Grandpa George. Grandpa George. Grandma and, Edith. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very racist against imaginary people. <laughs> Our, <laughs> <laughs> um, Our okay. sex therapist. Oh, I don't remember that one. You don't? No. Oh, yes. I'll I have to. Like uh, she'll be on. Really? Maybe she should be on when we have the guy from the sex shop on. Not while he's on. That would be awkward. That would be weird. <laughs> the guy's got a bunch of sex toys out and you're like, and real quick. And real quick, let me. <laughs> Eric's imaginary sex therapist. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> They're um, all real. I would totally try to freak that guy out. I'd be like, uh-oh, I don't think Eric took his pills this morning. Everyone get out of the room. Yeah. <laughs> he's not well. He's not well. Don't look at him while he's talking. Don't look at him. <laughs> okay, let's right off the top. Talk about our sponsor. Who are you? I already said I, my name, didn't I? Oh, did you? I'm, I did. Oh. I'm Laura Kane. This is Eric Rimmer. Oh, or hi. maybe I didn't. I don't Producer think Producer Brian. Oh. And, uh, and Miss Lee. And Miss Lee. No. Uh, Miss Lee screwed me up. That's what oh, happened. Oh, yeah. I did again. She Miss screwed screw me up. up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's talk about the sponsor of this podcast before oh, we get yes. to all my announcements. Would you like Miss Lee to talk about, Jay? Sure. <laughs> Go for it. What do you have to say? Does Jay want Miss Lee to talk about we'll him? We'll see. We will see. You, we what? will see. We will oh, see if Miss, next month he's on. Miss Lee loves Jay. Oh, maybe we should no, just. No, just try it. He might really okay, like it. it I depends. think Jay would like, because Miss Lee could be a client. I mean, she's, she could. she's sitting Lee, on quite a nest egg. Is Miss Lee giving us money? Yes. I feel like Miss Lee's taking money. <laughs> no. Is Miss, Mrs. Lee going to, uh, are we in her will? Does probably. She, okay, well, start and then I'll stop you probably okay. pretty quickly. Jay Wurtzler is a certified financial planner and certified divorce financial analyst and has been assisting clients with the path to comfortable financial future and helping them through different situations over 35 years. And cut. Okay, oh. I can't take it. Oh, I can't boy. take more than a few words. I'm sorry, Jay. Please don't fire us. <laughs> yeah, Jay, please. Please. We I, love I, you. I know how Jay Miss Lee works, loves but... you. Oh, gosh. Capital Growth Inc. is where Jay works. He's been there for 35 years he and is. counting. He's awesome. Him and his partner, they started the whole thing they did and uh it's capitalgrowthinc.com if you just want to go check them out but here's a little money tip that he just passed on to me this week i mean give it to you give it to me after the market pullback last year it's a good time to increase your 401k contributions to take advantage of low stock prices it could pay off well in the long term Good advice. think about the long term Mm -hmm. and yes when you and i are old and decrepit Yes. In bed together watching Netflix on a 75-inch TV. Jay Wurstler breaks in the door and slaps you both across the face <laughs> for not investing more in your 401k. Mm-hmm. Especially during the downturn in the market. Oh, exactly. Exactly. But no, if you have money, any kind of money, and you want it managed, go to Jay Wurstler. He will help you out. doesn't matter how much you have. A million dollars or 20000 or yeah. One thousand? Yeah. None. <laughs> None. <laughs> yeah. He's advising me, definitely. <laughs> we love Jay. His number is eight five eight five five two six nine six zero or just simply email him. J A Y W at Capital Growth dot com. And do you know he has a website? Yes, I do. It's Capital Growth Inc. Dot com. I gave it already, but that's great that you gave it again. Oh, <laughs> thanks for listening. I just like to put it out there. Thank you for listening. You're Miss Lee was talking to me. Oh my God. I, Get her out of here. I can just imagine 
Laura and Jay's like meetings, like financial meetings, and she's like, he's like, so how are things going this much? She's like, I bought this board game <laughs> and this dress. <laughs> he's like, that's great. Have you found a new job yet? She's like, no. Like, but no. I got. I also, look at these boots I bought. <laughs> Pretty much, that's it. Pretty much, that's it. It's sad, isn't it? It's sad being me, but I'm learning at my old age. Um, oh. All right, real quick. Thank you, Tio Leos, for being such great thank hosts. Thank you, Tio Leos. And thank you, everybody angle. that came. I know. All you guys, just it just warmed our hearts. It was so it fun did. meeting you. I loved it so much. We're going to have another one coming yeah, up. And um, Susan and Bailey, who you met, they uh, Susan and I worked together many moons ago. Yeah. And they came down to surprise me for my birthday. Oh, that's so sweet. Mm -hmm. You guys were talking up a storm. It was such a surprise. Really cool. Yeah, it was very, awesome. Very cool. So thank you guys for coming. But we do have something coming up February oh, 20th. Oh, yes, we if do. If you're into ghosts or want to maybe see one, Here's your chance. We're doing a live broadcast from the Cosmopolitan Hotel in Old Town, which Michael Brown from San Diego Ghost Tour says is the most haunted establishment in San Diego, mm -hmm. more than the Whaley House. And by seeing something frightening, it doesn't mean me in natural light. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, I know we won't have all these lights. <laughs> he didn't say it was the most haunted building he's ever been in. Oh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. That is saying something. He's been around. He's he was a ghost hunter first. Now he is a he d leads a tour in Old Town, a walking tour. So here's the deal: if you want to see the live broadcast at the Cosmo, RSVP on our website, lauracaneafterdark.com. The, they're going really fast. They are. So only 15 people can go to the live broadcast. But if you want to meet us after and then go on the tour with us, that's 15 bucks. And he usually charges 25 mm -hmm. ahead. So this is a great deal. Come with us. We're going to do the tour after the show. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a fun night. That's February 20th. It's a Monday night. I hope we see a guest. That I mean a guest. I hope we see a ghost. We'll see lots of guests. <laughs> I know. We will see lots of ghost of a guest. <laughs> <laughs> um, coming up, we also have Haley Hostler. She is the chairperson for Ben's Friends, which is a sobriety group uh, centered around uh, so Senator at <laughs> restaurants and bars. Why'd You're you? funny because you just, I saw you yawning without yawning. Oh. Like you. You're trying so hard not to open well, your mouth. I was, I was. <laughs> Here we are, the Thursday yawn. <laughs> I caught it though. I caught it. God, you can't get anything past the eagle eye cane oh over here. Oh my God, no, uh -oh, you think, cannot. I feel like I need to yawn. Now. Oh my gosh. Don't That'll, you start. Okay, that will when put Eric me does it, it's like a, oh, you stink or don't yawn. When producer Brian does it, it's a, what the hell? You can't be yawning. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I know. What the hell? Oh, this is, a, this is real our show. Okay, this is your show, too. Your show, too. Hey, don't I'm be yawning. At, I'm just the producer. Hey. My name's not on the logo. Hey, if you think that... If we're bored at our own, uh, talking uh, amongst ourselves, think about how bored the listeners are. All right, Miss Doll Eyes, you got the Red Bull there. He I do not have Doll Eyes tonight because guess who doesn't have to wake up at 4 a.m.? Me. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have a. Guess who doesn't have? To... Yeah, guess who doesn't have Doll Eyes and Lego poops? Guess who doesn't have a job? Yeah, anyway, she's all <laughs> boring. Oh boy, I'm gonna yawn. I'm gonna stop it. Okay, real quick. Here's my host chat. Real quick. Um, because, what was I, I going to do? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to get you. You're <laughs> going to get it. Uh, this uh, is Eric's fault. Don't look at me. I love like, not being problem. in the hot seat. No. Oh, my God. He's, you guys are killing me. Slowly. Okay. Per, I have two things. What? Oh, did you just, did you just give me side eye? Maybe by accident. Oh. She gave me a front eye intentionally. So. <laughs> but she eye, she gave me that daggers. side eye, and I think I peed a little. <laughs> Have we calmed down? Are we calmed what? down now? Are we you calm? always so, get I'm me. so calm. Are you ready I'm to listen? Sleepy. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. At the meet and mingle, Judy said, hey, why don't you do a ranger update? And I'm like, oh, I would love to. So ranger was the rescue dog from Rosarito that we found running on the highway. We Took him in the car, brought him back here home, kept him for about two weeks, and found him a great home with Melissa in Menifee. Now, here's the update. I'll show you the picture. Here's the picture of what Ranger looks like now. Isn't he a handsome boy? He's such a handsome boy. Let me see. 
Oh, he's, he's so looks cute. Looks like a black lab mix of some sort with like white cute. socks for feet. Oh, I like her floors. I know. She's got a nice house. But she says that he's humping everything in sight. <laughs> And then her other dog, they're like super close buds. And if they are separated from each other, they whine. So her they get her other dog, Jax, and Ranger get along great. The kids love Ranger. She has two little, um, small, not small kids, but anyway, under 15. And they love the dog so much. And she just says that Ranger is so sweet. I remember him being the sweetest dog. He would just put his head in my lap or roll over and want his belly tickled he's just so cute just i do that, that little, to you <laughs> that little beast over there just couldn't handle it <laughs> that's right eric kind of is ranger yeah takes ungodly mm. poops where he should yeah exactly know. humps yeah. everything in sight <laughs> <laughs> anyway so thank you melissa for the update the look i hear the two oh my god yeah, Erica, dog you're getting caller. me confused with your dog your dog humps me. Don't worry. When the sex guy comes over, we'll get a dog collar. Oh, God. <laughs> there he is oh, with his best for bud. What is that? Jax. Isn't he? Aren't they cute? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, yeah. We're having a guy on next week. Hopefully. Cross your fingers. He's, He's going to teach us about sex. He Let's has talk been about in the sex, sex industry for years. And he works at a sex store. I'm not going to tell you which one yet. And... <laughs> He's going to come in and give us a sex toy demonstration. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> wow, that was. <laughs> Would you drink some coffee or something? If you're yawning at your own show, nobody is going to be entertained by that. Not one person. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Uh-oh. She's going to get so mad. Uh-oh. We're going to be doing this show ourselves. <laughs> She's going to just stop talking. <laughs> I'm going to turn this car around. <laughs> Are you done? Can I play my game now that I bought <laughs> yes, online? <laughs> yeah, after this laugh attack, you're going to yawn even more. Oh, my God. Now, I know you worked all day. I get it. You're tired. <laughs> and going doing two podcasts a night is not easy. That's what coffee's for. That's why I do Red I Bull. I should probably get coffee. I never yeah. drink coffee at night. I can't what? drink Red Bull. Why don't you get a coffee when you get off work okay. to perk you up a little bit? Okay. Because I know you're tired and you're on your last leg, but we can't let anybody know that. I actually it's had show a Red Bull today. Did oh, you? boy, you too. But that's, that's, uh, that's Eric's fault that I'm yawning. <laughs> <laughs> so any dagger eyes you want to point at me, point at Eric. No. <laughs> and I know you work all day too. I get it. You're tired. You yes, come here. Do Stop. <laughs> Be prepared. <laughs> She's going to kill this us for the people oh my God, and you're not inter- that what oh your eyes are even oh watering you're crying yeah. <laughs> oh my god oh my goodness it's kind of a bummer that Laura doesn't, doesn't <laughs> that i don't that. what you don't also yawn when we yawn I not know. A, no if someone has to keep this boat afloat Watch this. it'd be so funny hey, if Laura. yawning against your will Laura. what <sighs> i'm not paying attention to you <laughs> Sam and I, have to yawn again. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> you don't make me laugh. Oh, my oh God. fine. Stop. Stop yawning. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's not how yawning works. Now everybody is going to be mad because now they're all yawning. <laughs> Listening to the podcast. That's not what we want. We want people to laugh. We want people to be entertained. Listen to this right before oh you go to bed. Oh, my God. I know, right? My eyes water. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's like one of those uh, meditation, yeah. sleep meditation Today, uh, videos. I turned off the light. Oh, the MS. And what is it called? Yeah. Oh, uh, ASMR. ASMR. Yeah, a- yeah, ASMR. Oh, my God. Okay. Today, I yawned in Laura's face, and she gave me the stink eye. As usual. Laura, <laughs> Laura watches, like, manifesting ASMR videos. Yeah. I do. You have lots of money. I do listen to the affirmation, <laughs> money affirmation ones. You are good with money. Oh, good. Money is Wait, coming your what way. What station is that on? <laughs> no, <laughs> wake, no. Wake up, buys a board game. <laughs> I know. So here is what I did with my money. Oh my she goodness! Was like you gotta stop this, Lord. She's like, actually, I'm very good with money. I know that because I tell it to myself. Oh, oh my no! God. Yes. Well, you, no. It's a guy tells me. Okay, he sorry. tells YouTube told me. So you're supposed to fall asleep to these affirmations. You're supposed to get into your subconsciousness. Yeah, you're supposed to follow through on it too. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Well, here's a purchase that I made. Okay. I thought it would be fun for the show. Okay. Stop it. It's called 
Tic Tac Tongue. I like the right oh, upper right. right side. It says Tic Tac Tongue. It says be Nervous. quick to lick. Uh-oh. Okay. Did you see that? <laughs> no, be quick to lick. Oh, be quick to lick. Okay, oh, no. put that on your face. I hope we're not sharing. Um, no, oh, I, it's just me and him. You don't even have to participate. <laughs> but oh, here's what God, the game. Us. Okay, hold on. We have to knock over these little guys. I don't know. I, I haven't read the rules, but let's see if we can even this, do it with those. These the are the games you buy? But it looked funny. It looked hilarious. Right. I was laughing. I was hysterically at the people I'm, playing the game, and I thought it would be super is fun. Is something that's supposed to be sticking out? Of, yeah, you much, lost it. How the, much did this cost? I don't remember. Uh-oh. Oh God. No, is you it, do. It you just don't want to say. Right? <laughs> oh, I have it on wrong. <laughs> this is like $60. No, God, no. <laughs> no. But it could be somewhere around 20 Who knows? It was. I think it was Instagram. Okay, so I'm just going to set up a few. Okay. Now, look. You put your mouth on the little thing so you can blow it. <laughs> okay. Wait till next week, I Eric. Know, I know. Here, I'm going to take a headphone off. Okay. Okay. Are you got it on? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to get mine on. Hold on. Okay. Now. Oh, mine fell off, too. Oh, okay. okay. Here we go. This is terrible. I know. I, why did I do this? Why? Okay. Oh. No. Ready? Okay. Okay. How do I stick Here, this in? Let me stick, stick it, it in. in. Here, let me stick this in your mouth. You guys, the in. sex guy is not coming till later. <laughs> okay. Okay. I've heard blow it and stick it in two times tonight. Stick it, it in. Put it on your mouth. And then I'll stick, it <laughs> stick it in and blow on it. <laughs> oh. Oh, yep, it's uh, getting in. Oh, that's it. Uh, oh, man, that's deep. Uh, oh, that's real deep. No, it's oh, out. It's this is out. The, the key to this Hold game on. is the tongue. It's yeah, tic-tac-tongue. Yeah, that tongue. is the key to the game. <laughs> Thank you. It's not Some would fitting. say that it's forgotten it's about, not, but... It doesn't fit in the hole. <laughs> oh, no, no, it has to fit in the Maybe hole. Maybe it needs something slippery, oh, like some sort of there lubrication. Here, let me do What it. is going on? Here we go. I got it. Do you? Yeah, oh, you can't... No, you can't force it in. That never feels good. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. What do we do? We're going to knock down. Who can knock down the most cards? Ready? Wait, my mouth isn't on it. This is the dumbest game. Oh, I know. I just want to say, oh, we're done. I, Wait. Jay? <laughs> oh, no, don't narc on me, please. Don't narc on me. Little kids would Jay. like this, right? No. 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 Well, then. And those it, mouths hurt. They okay. do. They I just want to like say, hell. is that the camera cut off when you guys were going down? So it looks like you guys are just giving the table <laughs> oh, jobs. No. Oh, great. I, oh, man. Well, well. Did you see some of the tongue coming in and out? I saw you trying to tongue him. Okay, oh, that's fine. yeah, so you baby. Can, you can see how it actually worked. Yeah, oh, my God. Okay, just, this. Uh, 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 oh, my God. All right, again, Jay's Jay number. T- uh, Jay. <laughs> Jay. If you need Jay, managing your here, money, not I have a, these. I'm, uh, no. I'm going to give you a number. Okay. It's 858-552-6960. That's Please, the number for Jay. God, be quick it. to lick. Tic-tac-tongue. God, sucks. be quick to lick. God. I'm not see what I do that. for the show? See what I do? You, I, yeah, I try things. You really it's a, it's are a big step in the a, wrong direction. Hey, mm. isn't it worth trying, though? I think uh, I split my lip. I think the box art was enough for me to go, maybe this is a bad idea. Wow. Well, it really looked funny online. Well, they had it all perfectly. Really gonna... They what, weren't smooshed like this. How, does, like, how do you keep track of points and stuff? Like I just don't understand like how it functions. Oh, it's a whole game. game. I just didn't read the directions. You have to pull cards, <laughs> oh. and then you have to blow something over. I just thought it would be funny just to blow the cards down just, but i was wrong it was you thought it would be funny just to blow each other yeah okay but i was wrong Th- this is the whole thing it's the whole damn thing where are the other cards that you're supposed to read why don't you take this you know where my trash can is <laughs> <laughs> oh no my recycling you know uh-huh. where my recycling is uh-huh. you can dump it right in there unless <laughs> somebody wants it i will gladly mail this to you we'll put it on buy nothing Goodwill throws this stuff in the trash. I know. Even <laughs> they yeah, would that, not want that. Wow. It was fun to try. It, well. Well, anyway, okay. no, it wasn't. Next segment. All right. <laughs> well, before we call Haley Hostler, yes. do you have a host chat? I do. Okay. What's up? Have you ever heard of a food company called Factor? No. Nope. So there, you've heard of, um, what's the other one? What's the popular one? The de- uh, home, de- the food, Gerber. no, the food delivery where they bring it in the box. It's green. Oh, um, 
It, oh, I don't know. I just saw an ad for it. You know, HelloFresh. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's right? one. Yeah. Um. So a friend of mine said, is a member of Factor and said, I'm going to send you a, a box. Okay. And the food's good. I've had it. So, you know, there's no strings attached. You get the free box and try it. And if you don't like it, then you... Do you get to pick what you eat? Well, so it was already pre-selected, but I don't eat red meat. So I went on to the, I clicked on the link, went onto the website. So this is where the problem is. Oh, no. So not only is this my host chat, but this is also a PSA. Okay. Because if you have an iPhone okay. with facial recognition, once you get on there, it will fill in all your information for you. So if you have Apple Pay, it will fill in your credit card number. It will fill in everything. So I swapped out the meat for like chicken or vegetables or whatever, just because I don't eat red meat. <clears throat> so as I get to, through the selecting, I think it was like six meals or whatever, and I swapped like four. Okay. Everything is grayed out, so I, it won't let me go any further. And I was so confused. And I was like, oh, you know what? I, I don't need it that bad. So okay. forget it. All right. So I didn't do anything. So about three weeks later, I get a box in the mail. Okay. From this company. All right. Okay. It's all beef. <laughs> okay. So I can't eat any of it. So oh, I'm no. like, okay. So I thought, well, there's my free box, but I can't have it. How many meals? One meal? Three meals? There were, I think, five or six in there. And that's free? It was, so free, I thought. Oh, 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 no, here's another one. So then about a week ago, a little over a week ago, I get another box. Okay. And I was like, okay. And it was all runny. Like, and I was like, oh, I'm not eating this. I don't know where this has been. You know, it, everything. And I thought, what if it is bad? So that went in the trash. Then on the 20th, I got, or no, the 24th, I got another box. Uh-oh. And I called my friend and I said, hey, um, are you being charged for this? Because this is the third box uh, I've received. Someone's being charged. No, I'm not. Okay, well, let me look at mine. I'm scrolling through. Oh, no, I'm not. Then I see the charges. Uh-oh, how much? Almost $100 a box. What? So I was like, wait. How am I being charged? I, they don't have my credit card information or anything. So first thing I thought was my card was compromised. So I called my bank. They're like, no. Um, do you see any? We went over all the charges. I was like, no, those are correct. So I call the company. Oh, here we go. He's so good at this. So I say to the customer service representative, who was a total Bitch. Oh boy. I bet she loved you. Oh, I not. was being so nice. And I didn't have any reason to be mad. I mean, I knew it was going to get corrected, but I was like, I'm totally confused. I said, I'm being charged for food that I didn't order. And she immediately, she's like, phone number. Okay. And I gave her my phone number and she goes, you have an account. And I said, that's impossible because I haven't set anything up. Okay. Sorry, you signed the terms of agreement, so we're charging you for that food. And I said, I didn't order it. I don't eat red meat, so why would I order red meat? I, It's just me. Okay. So um, she goes, well, too bad. I said, okay, can I speak to a supervisor? No way she said too bad. She uh, no, she was just like, absolutely. She was like, sorry, we're charging you for it. What? No. Uh oh supervisor time, yep. yeah. May I speak to the supervisor? We don't have any. And I said, you mean that to tell me that you are not governed by anyone? You're just all just free spirits <laughs> that can tell me to pound sand at any time. So she's like, well, we do have a supervisor. I said, okay, two seconds ago, you told me you didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, they have to put you in a queue and then they call you back. I said, okay. So I have my phone on. I'm waiting for the supervisor. Okay. All of a sudden, my phone, which I never have on... It alerts me that someone has called. Never rang, nothing. So I listened to the message, and it's the supervisor, and she's like, oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I noticed that you canceled your account, so we're just going to charge you for those meals 
And then that'll be it. And I was like, oh, oh no. Oh, God. So I call back. Don't mess with Eric and his money. Do not mess uh-uh. with Eric's money. And Because I, I know where every penny he is. He does. And I uh, called back and I said, um, can I speak to a supervisor? I'm returning a supervisor's call. Oh, well, tell us what the problem is. I said, oh, my God, I've already told two people what the problem is. Can I just talk to a supervisor? Uh, well, let me help you. All right, fine. So I give the Reader's Digest version. And this time it's a guy who was a huge dick. Oh, no, a bitch and a dick. Uh-huh. So Work for the company. Almost makes a baby. He, uh, he <laughs> constantly kept talking over me. And he's like, nope, you have an account. I said, no, I don't. That's what they told me. And I said, I didn't open an account. So cancel whatever account I have. So I said, after getting nowhere with him, I said, can I talk to a supervisor? And he goes, please hold. 20 minutes almost, I was on hold. He gets back on the phone and goes, here's your supervisor, laughs and hangs up. Oh, no. So at this point, I all I see is red. So I call back. Because oh I'm on my Lord. I'm on my lunch, yeah, and I'm doing this, so oh God. I'm I am furious at this point. So I call back and I get poor Shaniqua. That that was her name, and she was a delight. Okay, oh, okay. So she I she said, "Well, sir, we, like we don't, I don't know why he would have done that." And I said, "Because he was a dick." And I'm on recorded conversation saying that. <laughs> and so I said, um, he put me on hold for almost 20 minutes, came back, laughed, and then hung up. That is unbelievable. So she goes, I am so sorry. And she goes, we don't, our supervisors, we don't transfer anybody. So they go in a queue and then they call you back. And I said, I know. Mm-hmm. So um, she goes, well, unfortunately, um, your app, it looks like your Apple phone did fill in all your information. Mm. And I said, so she said, I'm going to refund everything for you. Oh, good. So she was a, oh, she, good. She was, out of all those people that I dealt with, Shaniqua, you were the only one that listened. How Thank you. How long total do you think you spent on this Probably problem? an hour and a half. Mm. To get back a hundred bucks. To get back almost two. Oh, geez. Wow. Yeah. Well, worth it. That is a lot of money. I'm, I know. Yeah. So what's, do you want to out the company again or not? It was Factor Foods. Factor Foods. Yeah. Okay. So whatever you do, don't do it from your iPhone. If you have like Apple Pay, it fills in everything. You probably messed it up. I, I, no, because I, I couldn't go, I couldn't go any further. But here's, but to like to put in like, to like take your card information though, you do have to do like the face ID or the thumbprint depending on what you have. So I have yeah. facial ID. So it would have like popped up and it made you double click to confirm and then it would No, yeah, uh-huh. it didn't make me double click anything. That's the scary part. Yeah, he double clicked. I, no, I didn't. I didn't have my credit card number. I didn't have anything on me when I did it. Do you have Apple Pay set up? No. That's the thing. I did not have Apple Pay uh, set up. What's your, like, what the browser you use? Is it Safari or is it, like, Google Chrome? I don't know because it was on my phone. Right. Like, when you click on the yeah. browser, is well, it the compass oh, icon or yeah. is it the Google Chrome? It's the compass. Hmm. I know wow. they have autofill, but I don't, yeah. You guys, yeah. are you done? Because we need to call Haley. Yes, I'm done. Thank you, wow. Shaniqua. Man, you I'm delight. glad that you found a good customer I would, service. I'd love to hear some of the phone calls because I'm sure oh, he is he's nice. Not- I was just saying, <laughs> I would like to see what his version of nice is. Oh, with the guy? I was not nice. I was like, you're irritating me. Get me a supervisor now. I was so mad. So he's like, I was super nice. And then cuts to, he's like, look here, bitch. Okay. Oh, no, I, I would never say that. <laughs> I did say that the guy was a dick, though. You know, oh, my you might God. Have to, you might want to connect your phone real quick. Okay, let me connect my phone. We're calling. Haley Hostler. Let's hi, see. Haley. Um, don't say hi yet. Cause, oh. Okay. Uh, She's not on the phone Roadcaster. Yet. Oh, come on now. Roadcaster. Connect. Unsuccessful. Forget device. No. Okay. Now I have to go off the Bluetooth. Will you say something while I'm doing yes. this? Yes. Will you like entertain people? Laura's going off the Bluetooth. She's going off the grid. It's not does like you, populating right like now. Does your friend like the factor? Yeah, he is? likes it a lot. Mm. And the food was really good. I yeah. just was, I'm so adamant about like good customer service. And I thought that was so rude. And I thought if they're treating. It's not popping up. Um, forget the device. I did. Okay, one second. And now it's not popping up. Oh boy. Okay, look again. Oh, there it is. There it is. Ta-da. Here we go. And 
Here we go. Okay. We are on. <laughs> Brian saves the day. Thank you, producer Brian. Of course. Okay, here we go. Calling Haley Hostler. Should be ringing. There we go. Yes. Hello. Haley Hostler. Hi, Laura. Hi, Hi how Haley. are you? Good, how are you? Good. This, you. Is, this is my co-host, Eric. Hi. Hi. She's going to be my family. Oh, yeah. If you yes. think about it, you're going to oh, be. I am. I yeah. know. Isn't are, that fun? Are you going to be my, you're going to be my sister-in-law, right? Well. What is it? Yeah. What am I? No. What are my you? My sister's your daughter-in-law, so you'll be like my I don't know. You're kind of say auntie. (laughs) Yes. When in doubt, say auntie. That's perfect. (laughs) Well, I love this girl, Haley Hostler. She's an amazing person. I went to a meeting with her when I was in Oregon. This is the first time we met, but I knew about this organization that she's going to talk about because Charlie has told me all about her involvement. It's called Ben's Friends, and she's a chairperson. Awesome. And Haley, why don't you just give us like a quick rundown? What is Ben's Friends? Yeah. So Ben's Friends is a national organization. I believe there are upwards of 30 meetings at this point in different cities. And then also a national meeting on Zoom that happens um, every morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time. And then there are evening meetings. There's a women's meeting and a men's meeting. But it is essentially recovery meetings for people specifically in the food and beverage industry. So we've got bartenders, chefs, restaurant owners, um, distributors, people who are who find themselves in an industry that's typically filled with drugs and alcohol um, Mm -hmm. that are seeking sobriety. And who is Ben? Great question. So the the organization was founded by two men, Mickey and Steve, in Charleston, South Carolina. And they had an experience with a good friend of theirs who was a young chef. Um, They brought him to Charleston as a guest chef and Ben was struggling with addiction and he did not know that he had two people um, who were in recovery very close to him that had actually brought him to Charleston because of the nature of Alcoholics Anonymous. You know, they were, Mm -hmm. they kept their, they kept their, um, their recovery under wraps and they didn't care about it. So he was actually in the kitchen with these men struggling with these problems. And unfortunately, um, he went from this guest chef experience and he committed suicide in his hotel room. And Mm. so Mickey and Steve got together and they said, we've got to do something. Had this man know that he had access to two people deep in recovery. They both had years of sobriety at this point. You know, he, we might've been able to save his life. So it was founded um, on the idea of one, you can be sober in the restaurant industry. And two, um, maybe anonymity is, well, it's a beautiful tradition in 12 step program. There's a point where, you know, being proud and out loud with your sobriety can really help someone. Mm-hmm. I will, that's exactly why I talk about it on the air as much as I can. Because, yeah. you know, you don't want to, I don't want people to feel like they're alone. Totally. So, yeah. You, you, I always uh, thought, too, like the, the tradition of anonymity is really about, I promise not to out you, I mean, then in a meeting. Like, right. I, I feel like, you know, sharing my sobriety is, has always felt appropriate and how many how long do you have i am coming up on three and a half years i got sober september 3rd of 2019 is my sober date oh that's good yeah and i've been with ben's friends i found ben's friends not even a year in so i've been with them um over two years were you are are you in the restaurant industry so i i really grew up in it you know, Laura, my mom has the coffee business, so I grew up in that for sure. I grew up going to music festivals with her, which is definitely an environment filled with drugs and alcohol. Oh, yeah. Um, and then I went from there to, to just about every restaurant job you can have. I worked back of house, front of house, managerial positions, tons of bartending positions. And then I actually ran a bartending company in San Francisco, and that was sort of the rock bottom for me. Mm. Um, and then now I'm in the non-alcoholic beverage industry. So I still really use a lot of the tools we talk about in Ben's Friends because my job does have me in bars all the time and in liquor stores and in sales meetings or conferences or whatever where there's a lot of alcohol around. You know, that drink that you brought that was non-alcoholic, what was that and what brand was it? It was delicious. Yeah, 
little plug here. That's a local gal here in Portland that's joyous, non-alcoholic wine. And, um, yeah, I'm a big fan of NA Option. And what is your company called that you work for? I work for Athletic Non-Alcoholic Beer. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, I was been think, I've been thinking of ways to make money because I don't currently have a job that's steady. And yeah. I was thinking, well, okay, good tips. Tips are always good. Um, maybe a bartender. But then I was thinking, mm, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. But... <laughs> I think that I think I might be able to. And with Ben's friends, I have a connection that would keep me sober. Oh, for sure. I would hope if that's what you're going to do, that you show up at Ben's friends. We'd love to have you. For, I guess, for anybody in the restaurant or if you're a bartender, I'm sure there are many bartenders that are trying to get sober. And Definitely. with Ben's and, yeah. friends, does it, does it also, is it kind of a networking where if somebody's looking to work behind the bar they would help yeah i've seen that tons i mean people meet each other in different cities people are hosting events together all the time i'm incredibly close with some people in ben's friends i've traveled to their cities for their restaurant openings or for dining events or i actually just hosted a really special um non-alcoholic beer dinner with a well-known chef here in portland who's part of ben's friends and it was so fun it was wow. so cool to see people come out Wow. For a culinary event like that that didn't have alcohol. I've never really seen it quite like that. That's awesome. I bet um, it was really fun because being yeah. sober is super fun. It can be. Yeah. It's so fun. And we don't have to hide in the distant basement. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You're right. And yeah. okay, they brought over a game. Her and her boyfriend brought over a game. Oh, yes. And uh, it's called Code Names. And after yes. you read through the intricate directions, <laughs> which took Charlie like a half hour to read through these directions. Yeah, bless Charlie. I know. Charlie's thank a, God for Charlie. Capricorn. <laughs> <laughs> he uh, explained it to us and it was fun. It was a fun game. And it's, you have oh. to be on your game. You have to be, you know, quick and you have to think. So if you don't want to think don't play this game. oh i would fail miserably <laughs> i think you'd be good at it i think you'd be good at it but oh, maybe you could play it live on the air <laughs> oh my god that would be fun or not fun i'm not sure i'm thinking not fun <laughs> but she rented this game i wonder if there's a place in san diego where you can rent games is it like a she rented it where was it a is it a coffee house or was it a it's just right around the corner from my, our house. It's a, it's such a fun spot. Yeah, it's a big game. I think they have tournaments and um, all kinds of cool nerdy stuff going on over there. <laughs> There's got to be something similar in San Diego, I would think. I'm sure. I'm sure. Especially with, um, what is the festival? I've accidentally been in San Diego twice for Comic-Con. Accidentally? Accident. I Why? just happened to be in town and I was like, I just randomly, once I was there, um, I had a layover, so I stayed the night, and then once I was there for work, and all of a sudden, I'm surrounded by <laughs> people. I was like, this is amazing. Uh, what a fun time <laughs> to come visit. Yeah. Well, it's, a, it's a wild place. Thank you so much, Haley, for being on, and I'm so impressed by you. I really am. Oh, I mean, thank you, Laura. Yeah. Got it together. I mean, even if you're not going to bartend, come to a Ben Friends meeting, please. I think I might. I'm going to go to yeah, a meeting tomorrow. To a I'm going to go to a meeting tomorrow, and I think I'm going to try Ben's Friends for sure. Okay. I'll text you the link. Oh, do that. That would be great. And yeah. then I can, can I post the link on our website? Am I? Absolutely. Okay. We would love that. I'll do that. I'll do that too. Yeah. All right. Thank okay. you, Haley. Thank you, Thank Haley. You nice to meet you, Eric. You bye. too. Bye. bye. Okay. Bye. She is adorable. She's awesome. Look at this picture of her. I'll show you a picture of her. And you could see it on the screen, but you can't see it. She's probably adorable. Oh my God. She's so cute. And she's got, she's like not even, I think she's barely 30 and she's got it going on. Like <laughs> I w was so impressed by her. Here she is. Isn't she pretty? Oh, she's really pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. she found her boyfriend on that website, Raya. Have you heard of Raya or Raya? Yeah, isn't that for celebrities? Yes. Wow. But she, How is she's he? a chairperson of, I guess it's not only for celebrities, <laughs> but for people well, in. You have to have uh, an invite, basically, to get on it. So you have to be invited. Do you think she could invite me? Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Is that the way it works? You get invited? I think so. Yeah, you can't just download it. Like, you have to have, be invited to get on it. 
Can you oh. imagine if I go on a, that website and I or that dating app and I meet a, a big time actor? Well, it won't be yeah. Leonardo Hollywood. DiCaprio. He's off the table because he only takes the twenty fives. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah. yeah, he's who likes older women. <laughs> I can't um, see Vin Diesel. Oh, oh really? Yeah. No, thank you. Robert De Niro. I'd do that. Oh, uh, he's kind of. You do. How that. old is he? Probably ninety-five. I know. Ashton Kutcher. He's, he's with no, Mila. He's, yeah, oh, that's, that's right. Never gonna. No, that'll uh, never. They'll never break up. I hope they. We'll don't. find you a good celebrity. All right, I'm gonna read Justin you. Justin Timberlake. He's with um. What's her face? Ooh. Who's Justin Timberlake with? Oh, Jessica Biel. Yes, there you go. Oh. <clears throat> Okay, real quick, I'm going to give you 10 things men can do freely, but women are judged for these things. Okay. All right, we'll see. Peeing, standing up. Yeah, if it's like take your shirt off, then yeah, obviously. Like. <laughs> no. How about passing gas? Oh. Okay, well, yeah, I'm not going really to comment. I'm do guys comment. do that in front of other guys? Like, Yes. Yeah. It depends. You do. Yeah. Like if you have a good friends and you're hanging out and you're watching the game on the couch. Yes. Do you I've, fart freely? It depends on who though. Like if it has like to be your like best friends. friends. Yeah. Yes. Gr- really? Girls I would, don't do that to No, I won't fart in front of my friends at all. <laughs> ever. I think times have changed because some based on some people I know, that's not an issue. Wow. Why did you look at me when you said that? Um, I'm just making I can't with you. <laughs> well, apparently, yeah, they <laughs> judge women for it more than they judge men. Oh, I'm for sure. That. That's probably true. Oh, this is a good one. Physical signs of aging, like wrinkles and oh, gray hair. True. We get judged for that, guys. Mm-hmm. You just look more distinguished. I think it's well, I think it's because the guys don't care and women do care. So the judgment mostly comes from the same sex versus the opposite sex. Most of the time. What did he just say? <laughs> that, I was I was okay, smart, but who, I don't know. Who do you think is the biggest critic of women aging? Women. Women. Right. Guys mm-hmm. don't care. They don't they don't really critique themselves as much. So I think that's probably just the reason. So it's like self standards, <laughs> high self standards. Taking your top off in public is one of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's, just a, yeah, it's just a crime. Uh, work-related travel. People might say, you leave your kids at home and you go for a week for oh, a true. conference. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. would judge women for that, whereas men, pff, they can go because they're home with, with mama. their legs wide. <laughs> Don't read ahead of me. Oh, you know, sorry. You know what's funny is that there is a lot more on, on the opposite and like the judgment of the aftermath. So no one cares about it until like, you know, but when you hear about like the effect of it's always on the like the men's side. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. The next one is sitting with your legs wide apart. I don't think I have ever sat like that. I don't say men get a lot of hate for that. Do they? It's called man spreading. There's a name for it. And that, they get hate for it. Like if like a guy sits like I am right here with his leg. Yeah, it's called man spreading. Why? Why hate? Um, because it makes women uncomfortable. Oh, because you're just like here, here's my crotch. Pretty much. I, I think it's because they take up a lot of space. And so like, oh. it's like when women are like, it's like a tight space where women are like, have their legs together and they're like lean away and some oh, guys in the middle. Oh, okay. Which I, I get to a certain extent. At the same time, there's a reason why guys, it's Let uncomfortable me try it. to yes. keep Let their me try legs it. squeezed. Do I look, uh, does this look sexy? Does it look? Uh, it's very Sharon Stone. <laughs> but I'm keeping them apart. I'm not just well, you're, peep and then you're, you're closing it. You're in out the area. But if I if you walked in, I'm sitting like this. I'd probably start laughing. Yeah, I know. It's not sexy. That's no, true. and it's not no. comfortable either. No. It's but, only it's only it's a uniquely guy thing because of our you know yeah biology yeah our appendage yeah <laughs> it's uncomfortable to do this yes <laughs> using profanity. I don't like That's... it when men do it either. You do it. I do, but I, when I when I play backgammon, I really do it. If I'm losing. Backgammon. Backgammon. That's when you really let loose like a sailor. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah. I've never heard Man, you ever game, say this. This backgammon really, really just makes me want to say fuck. It does. Well, what the hell? <laughs> if I'm losing. But you are. I, you are. Give us an example. More. Um, uh, the, the onion is being peeled more and more. I thought I already peeled this onion. I'm, 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 next time to be like, oh, fuck. I spilled my prune juice. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I've I. I can honestly say I've probably said that. Eating large <laughs> amounts of food at a restaurant. Oh, gosh. Not anymore. I would say like 20 years ago, yes, but not anymore. Yeah. Same with cursing. Not anymore. Mm-hmm. Going to a bar alone. Oh, I wouldn't do go. that. That's just unsafe. That's, uh, yeah. I would never do that. I but you'd would, be ju- like a woman would be judged for it and saying it's unsafe for her. Right. If a guy does it, though, I'd just say it's sad. Or. I don't think so. Yes. Or if a woman did it, so. I think they'd be like, oh, look at her. She's slutty. She's going right, to exactly. get all the guys. Yeah. I think 
It's there's no. What is the problem? Okay, think. Let me let me paint you a picture of a yes, movie scene real quick. It opens up with a guy sitting alone in a bar. You know that guy either is sad, his kid died, his wife just left him, his girlfriend broke up with him. If you find out he's being cheated on, no one goes to the, the bar point. alone good because point. they're happy. Okay, mm-hmm. same, I get it. Same with women too. That's a good one. The difference is is that men because they're terrible prey on women, single women alone at bars. Yep, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Shaving or not shaving body hair. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. That's, that's fair. I hate shaving my legs. I hate it. It's so annoying. I'm judging. All the time, but God, I don't think I shave my legs. I had to shave for a week. my body. I would. Do you sh- you do you you manscape? Mm-hmm. I was going to say I 100% know shave. Oh. I know. I I don't shave like my chest or oh, anything no. like that. Can I tell you I was with a guy once who had a a racing like oh, stripe yeah, a guy it is on his pube yeah he, he shaved his pubes to a little line ew no I'm like, why that chicks do that don't do that that's, that's weird also, that's and was it just weird, like a big poofy like portobello mushroom bush <laughs> it wasn't that big of a bush <laughs> oh. but it Inver- was weird the inverted mushroom cloud yeah ew, very weird looking i think it's weird when guys shave everything down like there's no hair anywhere oh that is weird to the, me. The naked I'm, mole rat look. Yes. Ugh. God, it's so. Do you weird. manscape? Yeah. So you have to. Do you? Yeah, it's obnoxious if you don't. Yeah. Do you shave balls or not shave balls? Yes. You do shave balls. Yes. That must be delicate work. It is. It's very intricate. I mean, have you cut yourself before? Yes. Not that. Not my balls. Oh, thank God. Uh, only once. Ouch. Not like that or like no, not bad. I've like nicked myself, but but I can do it like whistling. I'm all boop boop and you put it like that. Just, it just does, it does yeah. Yeah. Three quick cuts. And I I use Harry's razors and very good shave cream. Okay, good. Mm-hmm. good to know. So I'm glad you guys are trimmed and nice and t- tidy down there. Yes, we are. I'm very proud of you. I, well, I can only speak for myself. I have no. I'm feeling. I you know Brian is. You know Brian is just the way he it's is. It's just a hygiene thing. Yeah, it, it is. It starts to smell after a while if you. Like, oh god. Your yeah. bush. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh man, well, I haven't had a bush in the longest everything. time. Yeah. It's just like it's just it collects sweat. Like yeah, I mean, it's not fun. That's what it's pubic hair is for. Yeah, and then you chop it off with the sweat. It goes yeah, away. <laughs> and bye. Just and like the getting la- a haircut. The yeah. last one is is kind of dumb. It's shaving your head. So if some woman shaves their head, she has cancer. She's crazy or something. Yes, yeah. exactly. They, yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. To be but, fair, though, that stereotype sometimes kind of holds up. Sometimes though, well. Not always. I was watching a show. When Britney Spears shaved her head, everybody said she was crazy. And but she was well, a little she crazy. Was well, a little bit. Turns out, okay. Name me one. Have you ever met somebody who shaved a woman who shaved their head because they were for reasons other than they had like chemotherapy or they were they were crazy? Demi Moore for GI Jane. Demi Moore is crazy. <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> no, not Never Demi mind. Sorry, I think of Demi Lovato. Yeah, not Demi. <laughs> no, Demi Moore. That's a movie role, though. I was watching a show called Love Island. It's on Netflix, I think. Is it's, this one where the the single ladies prey on the men? Oh yeah. Um, it's one of those kind of shows, mm-hmm. and this woman comes on, and she has this luscious hair, and she's talking about how she wants to meet all these guys, and she's super excited, and then she whips off her wig, and she has a bald head, and she's like, I decided to just be free of all hair, and I feel so sexy, sexier than I've ever felt in my life, and I hope the guys feel that way too. What do you think? That seems you think guys cool. would? I, I've yeah. known women that have shaved their head in solidarity for like a family oh, member or yeah. friend that have, right, has right. had like, cancer. Yeah. yeah. But the, you rarely find a woman who will go to her hairdresser and go, you know what? Just cut it all off today. Yeah. Well, just I mean, shave it all also, off today. Like, hair is pretty. Like, hair is, like especially when you take care of it, like, it's something to be proud of. It's your crown. Guys can't be proud of it cause most time because they don't care. Guys care about, I mean, what's I do, your hair care? What it. is your hair care uh, routine? I mean, like, you know, shampoo, mm-hmm, conditioner, mm-hmm. separately, not in the same. No, never the same. Good like that. Um, and like sea salt spray and I blow dry it. Oh, see? What you know, sea salt spray? And you blow it dry. What if? What happens if you don't blow it dry? <laughs> it gets flat against your forehead. Oh, yeah. now we know what you look like in the shower. I, I have no, I have really strong calic, so if I don't blow dry, it'll... I have a it, calic in the back of my head that yeah. never goes down. It, yeah. It just... I have one, too. You do? On the side of my head right here. It doesn't it's ever go down. Tough, yeah. My calics are terrible. Oh, it's awful. Oh, no. Well, wh- what's your hair care routine? Uh, shampoo and uh, conditioner separately. Yes. And I wash my hair every like three days. Okay. 
What Ooh, else? You I put something else the in there. I do. I put um, a pomade in. Or, um, I never used to blow dry it. Oh, now but you blow dry every it? Every once in a while I will. If it gets long when it's short like this, I don't. You just got a haircut, right? Mm-hmm. A little while. On How often frame. do you get a haircut? I get once every three weeks because my hair grows so wow. fast. Wow. Same. I, but I'm not, I used to be very consistent, but now I'm like once every so often when I go, oh my God, this is too long. Thank oh, you, God. Azalea. It just gets annoying, huh? I love my hair, girl. You do? Mm-hmm. I thought it was a guy. No, it's a girl. Oh, okay. I need to see my girl because my, Barry, I need to see Barry because. What's oh your God. hair care routine? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> is it extensive do we have enough time I don't, okay we, it, we better save that we for next week's show no, it's no extent, it's, <laughs> there's many steps that's fine. there's you know, many we'll sprays and oh, yes. palm it's all sorts of stuff yes oh my god do yes. i spend a lot of time on that <laughs> uh okay hey if you want to come to our ghost our special ghost spooky live broadcast at the cosmopolitan hotel on february 20th then just go to lauracaneafterdark.com it's gonna be so so much fun. RSVP. Only 15 people can be in the hotel. You can join us afterward for the tour, but uh, make sure the spaces are going fast. They are. So do that. What else? Um, thank you, Jay Wurzler from Capital Thank Capital you, Brooks Jay. Inc. And, oh, hopefully the sex guy will come on on Monday, hopefully. Oh, fingers crossed. I'm, I'm praying real hard for I'm, the sex guy. Me too, me too, me too. And love your podcast. Thank you for watching. Oh, I got to do it again. Thank you so much for watching. Love your podcast. Oh, uh, love your podcast. Uh, we oh! start. We, we started with her. We don't got that. But, huh. but, but she she logged out perfectly. Huh? She said, "Love oh, your podcast." Bye. Love you, my sweet babies. Hurry, <laughs> hurry. <laughs>